Today, we're going to talk about density. And we're going to answer the age-old question, just how dense is Dr. Carlson? First, let's talk about what density is. Okay? Density is a measurement of the substance. And we want to know how much mass it has, which kind of has to do with how heavy it feels, and how big it is, how much volume it takes up. Those two things together tell you something's density. Okay? The more mass you pack in the smaller space, the more dense something is. So for instance, I have five metals right here. I have aluminum, okay, and I have tin, and zinc, all right, and copper, and a little piece of lead. And all five of these pieces of metal have the exact same mass, okay? And as you can see, most of them are different sizes. Okay, and density is actually calculated using algebra or whatever. All you do is you take the mass and you divide by the volume. So here, we would take this mass and divide it by a big volume, and it would have a smaller number for density than this lead here. Take its mass, which is the same as this, but you divide it by a much smaller volume, and so this would have a very big density. Okay, And so a quick and easy way to find out something's density, uh, to compare it to, is to throw it in water. Water turns out to have a density about one gram per milliliter. And so if it sinks, it turns out that that thing is going to be more dense than water. And if it floats, it's less dense than water. All right, so again, the two things we need to know is that uh, you need to know how much mass something is and what its volume is. And those two put together uh, will tell us its density. And the sp cool thing about density is that it doesn't ever change if you break things up into little parts. For instance, this aluminum rod would have the same density if I broke it in half. If I just measured one half of this rod, it would have the same density as the entire rod. Okay, because if I broke it in half, I just measured half of the rod, it would have, to have half the mass and would have half the volume. And so if you figure out the math on that, it turns out to have the exact same density as measuring the whole rod. Okay, so let's go find out how dense I am. Right, you need, remember, you need to know two things to know something's density. You need to know its mass and you need to know its volume. And usually we do mass in grams and volume in milliliters, or you could do kilograms and liters something like that. So let's find out what my mass is. And we can do that using a scale. So if I step on the scale, it says right about 71 kilograms. So, I... so we found out my mass, which is 71 kilograms. Now we need to know my volume and we'll know my density. Okay, just take the mass divided by the volume. Well, we're going to use a method that Archimedes first used, uh, which is when you climb into the bathtub, you can see that the water level goes up. And so when you get out of the bathtub, the water level goes back down. If you measure how much the water level goes up and back that up, then you'll know how much volume you take up. So I have a garbage can full of water, okay, and I'll get in and I'll displace a bunch of water. A lot of water will come out. And then when I get out, we'll fill it back up to the top, and however much water it takes to refill it will be my volume. So here we go. Nice cold water. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Ugh. So we're displacing water here. All right, place the water, and, okay, good stuff. So however much water I've displaced, that is my volume. So now let's go and measure it. So now, if we add up the volume of all the buckets that have water that I poured in the trash can, it adds up to be 69 liters of water. So to find my density, we take 69 liters, well actually we take 71 kilograms and divide it by 69 liters. And that's just a little bit more than one, about 1. Uh, 1.01, 1.02, somewhere in there. I'll figure that out. So anyway, so it's just over a uh, density of one kilogram per liter, and it also works out to being about one gram per milliliter. And the interesting thing about that is that water has that same density. Okay? And since I'm just a little bit more dense than water, a little bit over one, that should mean that I sink in water. And I do. When I blow out all the air in my lungs, which I think I did when I was in there, then my my density is less than water, it's more than water, and I sink. Alright? 
And so you can quickly find whether you are more or less dense than water by getting in a, in a pool and blowing out all your air and see if you sink or float. All right? And that should work out because most of your body is water, so you'll be right around one. So if you want to really guess your volume, just find your mass in kilograms. All right? So enjoy playing with density, and remember that Dr. Carlson is dense, and I have a density just over one. Garbage can. 